Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching me for the first time, then let me introduce myself. I'm Dolly and this is Indian Shringar, a place where you can find all things related to beauty, travel and lifestyle, basically everything that makes your life beautiful. Now if you've seen my earlier video, I have spoken to you about Cushion Foundations, which is a Korean invention. And today I'm going to be talking to you about one more very beautiful Korean invention and those are the wine lip tints. These are the Chateau La Bioc wine lip tints which are long lasting moisturizing lip tints which have wine extract from premium French wine. But the best part is these come in this adorable, adorable packaging which is so cute. Don't you think it's cute? Now I bought uh, these from BB Cosmetic which is a website that has um, a Korean makeup and Korean skincare products. They ship worldwide, they have complimentary shipping, they also have a lot of discounts going on sometimes. So these come individually as well as in a set of six. So if you want you can buy them individually. They are priced at I think about $12 per lip tint. And if you buy it in a set, it's for about $65. And these came to be really, really, really long lasting. So I haven't tried these out at all. And I'm going to do my first impressions right now. It says here the long wearing tint dyes the lips with a bold yet delicate color that resembles quality wine while moisturizing the lips. Now, how lovely that's. Now the first shade that I have is blush pink. It is a really light pink and the bottle is so pretty. I just can't stop admiring the bottle. And this is how it opens up. So this is a bright bubblegum pink, at least that's how it appears to be in the tube. And um, it has a lovely berry kind of fragrance. So oh, let's get swatching. Okay, so this one isn't very um, pigmented. It's quite a pale pink. It doesn't look as bright as it does, um, you know, when you see it. And um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite nice for daily wear. It feels cooling on the lips. You know, when I applied it, it feels cool. It's not at all sticky doesn't transfer at all and it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be you know maybe it is this shade that's not that pigmented now this is quite strange though it was such a light color it was not really that pigmented the tint is quite difficult to remove and it's not come off completely anyway moving on the next shade is uh, CR01 which is rose coral and again the bottle. This again is quite quite a pretty color. It is um, again not not very pigmented. So you know if you have pigmented lips, it is not uh, going to cover them completely. It's not going to give you complete opaque coverage. But I think it's, it looks quite pretty. Again, very wearable. It settles down pretty fast. It's not tacky. It is not sticky. And um, in fact, I barely feel like I've got anything on my lips at all, you know, it, it feels very comfortable. I didn't think that this would look that good on the lips, but I think it's looking nice. Wow, these lip tints are tenacious. I tried removing them with the, with the micellar water and with the Nyro cleaning ester, but they're just so difficult to remove. Anyway, the next one that I'm trying is the Chardonnay Orange. So that's the other thing, all these uh, lip tints are named after wines. So you have blush, okay coral is not named after a wine, but you have blush, you have orange chardonnay, you have a merlot, you have a shiraz. So they're all even named after wines. So let me just, this is pigmented. Wow, this is like really, really pigmented. So the earlier two colors weren't that pigmented, but this one is a bright, bright, vermilion orange but as you can see it's not um, 
the coverage that you get is not opaque so you can still make out the natural color of your lips underneath it and uh, it's very weightless I mean you just don't feel like you have anything on your lips at all and um, it's set not sticky Can you see you do get a very faint mark The tint just refuses to come off completely. It's still, I mean, there's still a bit of tint left on my lips. But anyway, now we have just three more to go. So we have the RD01 Shiraz Red next. This looks like the perfect red, you know, the perfect um, ruby red, Shiraz Red. So let's see how this looks on my lips. Oh my god, wow. I love this color. This is such a beautiful red. It's like a perfect, perfect crimson red. And it's just beautiful. It's so lightweight. You don't even feel it on your lips. I know I'm repeating myself, but yes, these are very lightweight. You just, it's almost as if, you know, um, when you apply it, the color stays on your lips and then the rest of it just evaporates. So you don't feel anything. Going to be a pain to remove this one as you can tell these lip tints just don't want to leave my lips well next we have the nebbiolo red which is rd02 now this one uh, has more of um, we then have the nebbiolo red which has more like a pinky tint to it i guess it's a little more purpley pinky looking so let's see how that looks on the lips mm, this is a beautiful color lovely shade it's not um, again now none of these are really that opaque so this one is very pretty it, i thought it would look more purple because of the cap but it's not that purpley it, it um it is more cool toned yes and it's, it's lovely i just love this shade in fact i like pretty much all of them and lastly we have this one which is the merlot burgundy Watches of the Labiot, the Shadow Labiot lip thing again, and these are tenacious tints. I mean, they just refuse to come off the lips. They are very lightweight, okay? They're very, very watery, and you just don't feel like you're applying anything. They feel very weightless, except this one now. It it's feeling a bit sticky, but I guess maybe it's because you know there is residue of so many tints left over. So it is feeling a bit sticky, but otherwise they're they're nearly weightless. They're they're non-transfer, and uh, they're just fabulous. I hope you like them, and uh, I will be leaving more details about this in the description box as well as on my blog post. Do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.